use some happy mail that I received so I'm just going to use one of my journals from um, last year lit was it last year or year before last that I made this I think it might have been year before last when I made this but um, yeah let's just find us a journal page to work out of um, let's see oh, that's pretty um, hmm. I don't even know which one I want to use. Let's see. I think I'll use this page right here. This is a good layout right here. As a matter of fact, um, hold on. I think I'm going to take this out because I made this with removable signatures. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to take this signature out, and then that way I can work with it a little bit better. So, yeah, let's do that. And I received some uh, beautiful ephemera from Leah. Um, she's on Where Bacon and Crafted Meat. She's uh, a member of that, and she's also a member of Junk Journal Tutorials. And um, I wanted to use some of what she gave me along with some of the other um, things I've received from other people. But let me first show you what she sent me. Um, and a lot of these are cutouts from other books and stuff. She sent me this uh, gorgeous card that she made with a little letter. <laughs> she is so talented. And she cut a lot of these out, a lot of these little the birds, little chicks, and the um, different birds and different uh, cutouts, uh, fussy cutout images and stuff. Really nice, because I, I love um, different like nature themes and things, uh, animals and stuff like that. So I can really use these in here. And she made these gorgeous little flowers. Oh my goodness, they are so pretty. With a little bling on there. And she made these beautiful um, strips that have like coffee and uh, like related to like snacks and uh, bakery and things like that. I love it. That is just so neat. And she made some more stuff too. But um, these are just some of the few ones that um, she was nice enough to give to me. That was just so sweet. She is such a sweet lady. All of my uh, crafting community friends are just so sweet. Y'all are just so awesome. And I love crafting with y'all because y'all give me such great ideas and stuff like that. And look at these little papers. There's, some of them are embossed and stained. I just love these. It's got like different um, images. Um, these are just gorgeous. Oh, I'm definitely using these. One of them. I don't even know which one to use. And um, let's see. And then we've got this beautiful, uh, what do you call it, a jar. It's, this is great for like spring and stuff like that coming up. So let's, I'm definitely going to use that. And I'm going to just make like a quick little um, layout. What I think I'll do is, I think I'm going to make like an envelope to put these on. Okay, and um, let me see, let me put this one here. I found some scrap papers too that I'm going to be, I might try to use. So, let's see here. I want to use this scrap piece of staples bag or whatever. Um, hmm. So let me just kind of fold it. 
let me tear it into a shape that I, that's going to work. Or better yet, let me just cut it into a shape that will work. So I'm just going to cut here. Um, cut that. Cut one straight across. Cut here. Okay, and then we're going to use this and let's see what colors would look good in here. Maybe this light blue and white or something. Yeah. First, let me um, let me distress these edges. I'm going to literally distress them as in like with the scissors and then I'm going to come back through and I'm going to use some ink. We're just going to have some fun with this. Now, I'm, I don't know how well I can do this one, to stress this because it's so thin, but I'm just going to try it anyway. <laughs> If you do this, be really careful because you don't want your scissors to cut you. So I do have one of those um, distressor tools that I think it's from Prima Marketing, but scissors work just as good. Just use what you have. <laughs> okay. And then we want some color on here. I think I want to use some blue. I want to go for lighter colors. Um, hold on, let me get my little box. It's got some of my colors in here that I keep. We have brown. I think I'll use some broken china. I've got speckled egg, but I'm going to just use broken china since it's already right here. So let me slide this up. I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to go around the edge. And put a little bit of color on this one too. And we're going to see how this brown does. I might have to use my stays on. Okay, yeah, this works good. It's dark enough. It's not too dark. Now, I might need to stay zoom for this one because this isn't very dark. It's dark enough for that, but not for this. So, I'm going to use some of this stays on timber brown. And I was using Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. And then I also used the Broken China. Now, I'm just going to use some of this stays on timber brown and go around this because it shows up better on darker uh, papers and stuff. Okay. So we've got that. I'm just going to go ahead and I think I'll go ahead and glue this on. I'm going to use my UHU stick. I'm, I really like this stick. I've gotten it from Amazon. And um, I've gotten it with the purpose of gluing fabric on surfaces and stuff. And it actually works pretty good with fabric too. So I'm very happy with it. I might have to get some more because I use quite a bit of it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to glue this here. And I'm making, um, I'm going to make like a, what do you call it? Like a little folio or writing spot. So, let me see, how wide do I want these to be? Um, Okay, so these are two and three quarters by, I need six and a quarter. So six and a quarter by two and three and quarters. One of these sides are already kind of rough anyway. So sometimes when I use the paper trimmer, sometimes it 
my edges are like ruffled instead of straight so depending on what kind of paper I use I've noticed a lot of the recollections papers do that with my paper trimmer and it could be my paper trimmer and not necessarily the paper itself I think it is because when I use scissors I don't get that jagged edge that tattered edge but when I use my paper trimmer I do so perhaps I need another blade That's probably what it is okay so a little bit of oxide ink on there well you can't really see the blue so that kind of defeats the purpose so let's put some brown on there and you can see the brown so I'm happy with that it's not too too dark because I'm gonna try, I'm gonna start doing more springy shabby chicish stuff coming up Okay, so now I want to glue this. I need to score this. I'm going to score it at a half inch on each side. Okay, so... Fold that, fold that. Let me go ahead and put a little bit of distress ink on the crease. That way, when we open it up back and forth, we can see. Matter of fact, um, I need to distress both sides. Okay, so now these are going to be our little doors or closures or whatever you want to call those to this right here. Now this is kind of wide so I may need to just put these on the inside of here. Yeah, kind of takes away. Well, no, I'm going to put it in the back still. Alright, so I'm going to use my UHU glue. You could use a glue stick or you could use whatever form of glue you like. But, um, yeah, I've really taken to this glue stick pretty well. I like this. It's, I'm satisfied with it. So far. And I left like a little, uh, what do you call it, void or I left some space so that when you fold it over, you still have some, uh, it's not directly up on the line. It, it gives them enough room to fold. Okay, so we got that one there. And then we're going to add this. Go ahead and put a little bit of glue on there. So I'm going to line this up and do the same thing. Leave a little bit of space for you to open and close your hinge. And this opens up like that. It's not perfect, which is fine. Okay. And let's see. I think I'm going to turn that one like that. Do small things with great love. These are so neat. Now, I might cut this one down just a little tad, just a hair. To make it about the same as that one. I like that, yes. So let me, um, before I glue that down, I need some type of a closure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is for the inside of this, I'm going to turn this into like a pocket or something. So, let me see. I'm going to take just a little piece of it down. And I don't want to mess it up because it's it's really thin. 
and I don't want to mess it up so what I might do I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stitch this on here onto this white and this is going to become um, like a little pocket and I'm just going to take a, a circle punch to which circle punch and punch like a little opening right here so that we know that it's a pocket and I'm going to keep this leftover piece from that opening so let me just stitch this together right quick and I'll be right back okay so I stitched this together and we've got us a little um, pocket and I'm going to glue that inside of here uh, but I will use art glitter glue on that so and I'm going to make this into a pocket so it's going to be a pocket in a pocket okay so we've got that and we need some stuff in here and then something for the outside this is going to be on the outside and then we need something on the inside um, hmm. now actually even before that oh, I was looking um, uh, this one this one's from Berlinda she's from uh, the junk general tutorials uh, Facebook group and I was looking at this right here and I like these little um, what do you call them these little swirls here uh, whatever they're called cute little things so what I think I'm gonna do is I want to cut out let me get my small scissors I want to fussy cut out a portion of it and then part of it's going to come down some and across and then back up And then I'm going to cut the rest of this out. I'm going to fussy cut it out. I really like that. And I think I'm going to have it coming out. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit to about right there. I like how it extends up like that. That's pretty cool. So let's just distress that right quick. And then I'm going to glue this on here. about right there is good so put that in the middle yeah that'll work okay and then I'm gonna put something up here to cover that up part of that up um, so this is also from Berlinda um, I don't want to mess the whole thing up, but I do want the word love, so I'm going to take it out, a piece of it, or the word love, I don't want to mess up the whole thing but I do want I just need the word love and I want to put that there because the things that are inside of here is going to represent the things that I love so yes love I like that 
So let me distress this. And I'm going to have to use some stays on because I around the edges of it. Okay. And I'm going to glue that back on. Set that there. Um, yeah. I'm going to use some UHU glue, the glue stick. Glove. I like that. And, um, Jennifer uh, from she's on where bacon and crafting meets on that Facebook group. She had sent me a card, um, a Valentine's card, along with some um, ephemera and stuff. So I want to use some of these gorgeous little hearts in here. She's got a lot of ephemera. Um, it's, it's mainly for Valentine's, I guess, but I'm using this. Even though it's after Valentine's, <laughs> I'm still going to use this as just throughout the year because you can use it for more than just Valentine's. I'm going to put like a little heart. It's like right here in the middle. I like that. And I like the contrasting color of the heart. It has just enough sheen, and let's see, we've got quite a few neat little things in here, and I love this, this little journal card, um, I'm just going to punch the corners. And I'm going to add a piece of white cardstock to it. So let me measure this. And I'm going to make this cardstock a little bit shorter. So this is four, three by four. So I'm going to need like um, two and, I'm going to just do two and a half by three and a half, three and a half by two and a half. That's what I want to do. Three and a half by two and a half. Okay. And I'm just going to round off the corners. We're going to add some oxide ink. I'm also going to add a little bit on here too. And then we're going to distress our edges. And then I'm going to glue this one here. I'm going to glue this on. I think I'm going to turn it like this.
Okay, and then we're going to need, we're going to put these. Let me get my cheesecloth out. This is some Cotton Farm cheesecloth. I got this off of eBay. I should have turned it around the other way. Kind of like that. Yeah. Else. And these are the things that I love. I love coffee. I love snacks and bakery items and stuff like that. I really love those. So that's what this is going to represent. Is what I love <laughs> on any given day. Especially in the winter time, though. Cause I, I do drink coffee and tea and hot chocolate. Things to keep me warm in the winter. But in the summer and warmer months, I don't really drink it that much. But I do love it. I really, really do love it. But bakery snacks, you know, cupcakes and things like that. Oh, that's all year long. Definitely all year long. <laughs> so... All these confections just look so delicious. And so now we need something to seal this baby. And then something on the inside of here too. So this is two. I'm going to make something that's one and three quarters. By five and three quarters one and three quarters by five and three quarters okay and I'm just going to round off the ends So now we're going to distress these, add some glue, and this is a really simple project, real fun and easy, and um, it's just a neat way to use up some of your stuff, your scraps, your um, your gifted items, and it's just fun, just to create something. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this on. And then we're going to work on our little closure. And then I'm going to glue this inside the journal. And put some extra stuff in there. So. So what have you guys been creating lately? <laughs> Anything special? Any holidays, birthdays? Um, 
anyone that you're making stuff for um, love to hear what you're doing okay so we've got that um, put this like right there so we can see the word love I think I need something right there um, hold on a you know what? I forgot I had these. <laughs> I used these on one of my last um, things. This is like a belly band. Kind of. Or, yeah, it can slide down into something. I think and this is a paper clip. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that coffee. We get ready to slide this one down in here. Well, I don't want to mess that up, though, but, well, I don't want to mess that up. Hold up. Or, I could have this one on the outside. No, I need something in the middle. I think all of these, now this is a cluster. I like that. This could go right there. Because these... Well, I can, let me see. Because I don't want to take away from too much of that. I need something kind of small, but not, not too bold. Wait a minute. Oh! Yes! Here we go. Now, these are the ones that Felicia had made. I had gotten these last year sometime. Oh, I love it. Because it brings in the colors of all these together. So, I love how a lot of different things work together. <laughs> Even though they're made from different people, you can still make it work. You know. I still may um, add one of these on the page once I've put this in here. Okay, so now we need a closure. Um, hmm. Okay, I am going to go ahead and glue this on. Um, I'm put it like right here. I want to also put this behind this page as like a backup or like a it kind of it'll look something like washy a little bit that's what I like about these uh, clear papers or like vellum style papers I put something behind there in a little bit I'm gonna call this things I love but um, first where did I? I had a heart that I was going to use um, from Jennifer. Yeah, I'm going to use this uh, red heart, and it's going to go in the center. And I'm going to add a Velcro closure. So what I'll do is. I'm just going to take a half a piece of Velcro, and I've already got one left over from a previous project. And I'm going to put it in this corner. And then I'm going to glue or paste. this in the center and then that's going to go right there I 
and then we're going to have our closure well after it dries <laughs> so let me uh, let that come loose yeah so after that dries then um, we'll have our little closure right there um, so I found I think I'm gonna put something over here that says things I love I'm just gonna stamp this stamp here and I'm gonna write in things I love and this is lost and found by my mind's eye this is one of the ones I got from Tuesday morning few years ago I think no no I got this one from eBay I had gotten a lot of uh, different stamps and this was part of one of them so yeah my bad but I think that they got theirs from Tuesday morning <laughs> very pretty I love that stamp all right so I think I'm gonna use some stays on ink instead of using the archival black jet black ink okay and that came out pretty well so I'm just going to fussy cut this out Okay, and then let me get my blue ink. Let's add a little bit of blue around these corners. It's not going to be perfect, but that's fine. And then we're going to take some black ink and go around the edge. And I think I'm going to create like a belly band. Yeah. I'm going to create a belly band. And I think I'll make it out of this pink right here. This is cute. I might just... Let's see. I'm trying to determine which side to use for the belly band this side or this side. I think I'll use this side and then I want to use one of these paper clips. I like this how it says bakery. But I want it to be able to slide on and off of something. I like that. So I want to use this side. I'm just going to round off the corners and distress it. All right, and then now I'm just going to add some of this glue stick on here. And we're going to put this horizontally, like in the center. Make sure that's on good. And then we're going to make sure. that this is on good and then I want to go ahead and glue this on put some glue at the top and then some down here 
We're going to have our little billy band. And I'm going to write the things I love on here. Let me get a black ink pen. So these are the things I love. And I'm going to fill it with the things that I love. So I have to put something in here. And um, inside here. I might put like a little stitch on this heart. To not only help it um, stick. But also just to kind of give it texture. You know. I should have did that first and then put this on here, but that's fine. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll be right back. Okay, so I stitched, oops, I stitched the heart. And um, so we have that. And that comes out so beautiful. I love that. And we've got this. So I need something to go behind here. And I need some type of a tag or journal spot going there. Now I know I'm supposed to be using scraps but I had ordered like a group of scrapbook paper last year or it might have been year before last, whatever. And I love this paper. Um, Ladies and Gents Tea Time. It's by Webster Pages. Your life, beautiful. Um, oh really? I'm not familiar with the company, but this is beautiful paper. <laughs> and so I'm going to make a tag or a journal card. So this is roughly, roughly five inches. So I'm going to make a tag that's four by roughly, I'm going to do a four by five tag.
video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos and my blog and my social media sites. And as always, I thank you guys so much for watching.